Looks like we may have gotten some new information regarding the possibility of Colorado leaving the Pac-12 for the Big 12 and also some information about fractures that have taken place among the leaders of these Pac-12 institutions, which I think has caused a lot of these issues that we're talking about today. Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, Big 12 fans, and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos. Welcome into another edition of Coos's Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up this shot of top shelf college football content. On tap today, we are once again going to hone in on what's going on with the Pac-12 Conference, singling out Colorado. We've heard people like Andrew Marshan say, hey, I've heard that we need to watch Colorado. We've heard for months from various media outlets across the country, people over at The Athletic, the aforementioned Andrew Marshan from John Iran, his colleague who works at the Sports Business Journal. We've heard it from people like Dennis Dodd at CBS Sports. Even I think we've even had a couple reports come out of ESPN that the Big 12 has at least had discussions with the four corner schools out of the Pac-12 of Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah. Now, so far, we've not really heard anything beyond them being just general discussions. However, I think that's about to change. And the reason I tell you that is there's a rumor out there that I believe has some steam. And if it turns out to be accurate, they're turning into more than just general discussions. And it all starts with this right here. Up on the screen for you right now is a post that Jason Shear from Wildcat Authority, who is an arm of 24-7 sports, and he covers the Arizona Wildcats. We all know Jason has been following this stuff, this story for months. But Jason put up on the 24-7 message board just yesterday, Saturday, April 29th, the following. And it's up on the screen for you now. There's a meeting between Colorado and the Big 12 next weekend. We will see what comes out of it. Now, we don't know any exact dates. We don't know any details about this meeting, what it's about, the agenda, none of that stuff. We don't know where the meeting is located. None of that. All, we've, all we have is what Jason has given us here in this very small message board post. But based on what, based on that and what I'm gathering from some other sources, I think this story has legs. There is some smoke here, in my opinion. This meeting is believed to be about more than just exploring ideas or a general discussion. It's believed there will be some discussion about how to actually execute a move of Colorado into the Big 12 and how that could bring value to the conference. So this meeting, in my opinion, based on the information I've gathered, is more than just a general discussion meeting. Now, another reason I tend to believe this has legs is because of what we've heard about a potential fracture among the teams in the Pac-12. Greg Flugar has talked about it multiple times over on his show, College Football Speak Around the Corner. And also, Greg put this tweet out today, Sunday, April 30th. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you right now. As you see this tweet, it says, Fracture created, 12-14-22. And these are apparently from Richard Lieb, who is a Board of Regents member at Cal. To be honest with you, I would love for Cal in the Big Ten. Lieb said Regents explored possibility of Big Ten taking Cal and adding additional Pac-12 schools, Stanford, Washington, and Oregon. We certainly put some pressure on to see if we could. So you've got quotes that Cal wanted in the Big Ten, which we kind of already knew, that they put pressure on to see if they could make it happen. But not only did he want to get Cal into the Big Ten, he wanted to get Stanford, Washington, and Oregon in there with them, along with USC and UCLA that had already decided to leave. So it appears that Lee didn't care about Arizona. He didn't care about Arizona State. He didn't care about Colorado, and he didn't care about Utah. And he definitely, Definitely didn't care about Washington State or Oregon State. So instead of throwing all this displeasure toward the Big 12, maybe the Pac-12 should be angry at Richard Lieb and the people at Cal. It seems as though they have caused a major divide inside the conference. And maybe they are the reason the Four Corner Schools are even exploring the idea of potentially leaving the conference and going to the Big 12 in the first place. Maybe they wouldn't have decided to make that a priority or at least explore that option had had Mr. Lee not created this division and tried to get these other schools to go along with Cal out of the conference. This conference is imploding. It looks like the conference is imploding from the inside is basically what it appears here. So you can blame the Big 12 all you want to. You can blame Brett Yormark all you want to. 
you can blame whoever you want to. You can blame Endeavor. You can blame somebody named Karen. You can blame Greg Flugauer. You can blame me. You can blame whoever. Dennis Dye, whatever. But at the end of the day, the blame needs to be laid at the feet of people like Richard Lee and the people who are trying to destroy this conference from the inside. Now, I understand it. They might be doing what they think is best for their own institution. I get that. But if it, if I can understand if he was trying to get his own institution into the Big Ten, but why would you try to drag all these other schools with you but yet leave all these other ones behind? It doesn't make any sense to me. If there was any unity in this conference, that would not be happening. And I think they are basically destroying themselves from the inside out. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Kuzma's Corner family, let me know in the comments section. What do you think about this alleged fracture inside the Pac-12 conference among its leaders? What do you think about this report that Colorado could be meeting with the Big 12 as early as next weekend? I want to hear your thoughts on these, t- these two topics right here. Or do you think it's just nothing? Do you think it's just purely speculation and pure rumor that doesn't have any legs? I want to hear your thoughts on it. Also, if you want to support my channel here, there are several ways you can do it financially. The number one way, though, check, go check out my friends over at Blue Ridge Coffee Crafters. Get yourself a bag of delicious, smooth, non-bitter, non-acidic coffee from Blue Ridge Coffee Crafters. There's a link in my description box that will get you to the site, or just go to blueridgecoffeecrafters.com. And when you make your purchase and get you a bag of this delicious coffee, type Kuzas, C-O-U-Z, apostrophe S, in the comments at the checkout page and let them know you found out about it right here on my channel and it, and it will help the show out. You can also support me by joining my channel. You can support me by making a one-time donation with the heart thanks option below. You can support me for absolutely free by liking the video, sharing the video, dropping a comment below and subscribing to the channel here and be sure if you subscribe, hit that notification bell too. So you, so you don't miss future uploads and future live streams that may be happening here real soon. With that being said, I really appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Kuzma's Corner, and until the next one, Q Country Roads.